Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for sparing your time with us today. I sincerely hope that all of you are very well alongside your family and loved ones. So for this morning, you will be spending roughly half an hour with me, Abdul Haq, your system consultant. Right, let's take a look at our main agenda for today, which is to introduce the new version of our system, which is now on the third version. The system will now move on to its new phase, which is our new user interface to revamp and refresh the looks alongside additional features what that will be enjoyed by all of the users. We will first start with the objective of this presentation, followed with the expected outcome, and then proceed with the new management dashboard, and then only we will move on to the system walkthrough. So let's begin with the objective of this presentation. The first objective is to brief users to clear cache on their devices. This is to ensure the device is fit and ready to receive the updates. The second is to have an overview of the system to familiarize users with the new system interface. So at the end of the presentation, users are expected to be able to perform the clear cache function to prepare the device to receive the new updates. And lastly, the users are expected to familiarize themselves with the system based on the system walkthrough. So now let's begin with the first objective. An email from BuildSpace will notify once the updates are ready to be received by the user. The updates are expected to be rolled out by mid of June. So to prepare this update device for these updates, we are required to conduct an action called cache clearing. So let's begin with cache clearing process. So now let's go to the browser of choice. Take for example, for this one, we go to the Google Chrome in this case. So what we can do is we click on the three button on the top right side over here, and then go to history click on history. Alternatively, we can straight away push on the control H button on the keyboard. So now we can take a look at the left hand side here, we can see there is a clear browsing data button right over here. So we click on this. And then the we will be greeted with this pop out windows over here. So what we can do next is we tick on the cookies and other site data and also cache image and files. Download history is actually optional. If you wanted to clear it out, you can do so right over here. So please set the time range to all time and then click on clear data. This action may take a few seconds and up to a few minutes, depending on the size of cache accumulated by the, by the browser. So now basically we are done with Google Chrome. So now what if we use Firefox? So we go to the Firefox. So we can see there are a button over here on the top right side that looks like books stacked together. So we just click on this one and then go to history and then click on clear recent history. Almost similar to the Chrome, we click on cookies and cache and also please set the time range to everything. And site preference and offline website data is, op is actually optional. So you click on OK. And then also, depending on the size of cache accumulated, this may vary from a few seconds up to a few minutes. OK. Moving on to the system view. So let's go to the system to take a look we will be greeted with the familiar login page depending on the developer's customized login page, of course. So we type in our login details, take for example this one, and enter into the system by clicking sign in button right here. OK, 
excuse the technical issues. So let's start again by clicking on the sign in button. So welcome everyone to Build Space version 3. So here we will be greeted with the fresh, mostly white and blue interface for a more contemporary look to complement our upcoming from the few months of idling industry. So we take a look at our new navigation pane, which is usually located on the top. Now reposition to decide to give way for a better navigation throughout the system and also a better working real screen estate as the pane can be minimized like so to give a bigger viewing area which could be useful when multitasking or viewing multiple complicated data on a single screen so now let's move on to the new to-do list which is located up here and separated by tendering to-dos and post-contract to-dos this side-by-side -side orientation and numbers of days highlighted gave a better view of the list thus alerting us on the task needed to be completed on a targeted day scrolling down we can see the numbers of project by statuses is laid out nicely in a pie chart and table for percentage and numerical statistics respectively for us to have an idea of real-time movement of a company in terms of the project management so there are instances where consultant will prepare the bq and perform call of tender call for tender so for this action we go to the project button over here And then we can see there are lists of projects alongside the statuses available for us to see over here similar to the old version this is to add some familiarity for the users to use the new system okay take for example we go into cadangan membina complex kilang over here so we click on this And then we will be greeted with the project progress checklist over here, which already completed two steps of it, which is recommendation of tenderer and list of tenderer. These two steps has already been completed by the developer, of course. So now we will take a look at the first tender documents upload, which is done by the QS consultant, and then moving on to the form of tender to be edited. And then we'll go to the BQ preparation, and lastly, to calling for tender itself. So let's begin with tender documents upload. So how we can do so, we click on the documents and go to the tender document site over here. And then take, for example, we wanted to perform an upload for the drawing. So how can, we can do so is we scroll down and then we take a look at the drawing file over here, click on option and then click on open. Okay, so we go to the upload button right over here and start to add files by clicking this button. Take for example, these are the three types of drawing, three drawings, different drawings that we wanted to import into the system. And then we can see it's available over here and start to click start upload. Give it a few seconds. Bear in mind that regardless of the type of files that we wish to upload into the system it will still upload it up here however some types of file cannot be viewed inside this system so we have to download it first okay once finished like this one we can click elsewhere and then there we have it all of the drawings uploaded stated over here okay so now let's take a look at the form of tender so you click on the tender document and go to the form of tender over here and click show. And then take, for example, we might we want to make an amendment on the clauses. So how we can do so is we click on the edit button over here. And we will have the form of tender clauses laid out nicely like so. 
take for example we need to do an adjustment on this false number three so we simply click and edit with anything that we want over here take for example like so and we can delete it so take for example we wanted to remove this clause altogether so how we can do so is just by simply click on the delete clause over here and if you wanted to add another one we can do so by click on the add new clause so now take for example we wanted to shift the number six part over here to top maybe because of some priority reasons so we click on this one and drag all the way up and position like so the system will automatically renumbered and rearrange everything so it will be in order like so so now we can go back to the down here by clicking save and then proceed to print for us to take a look at the finished form of tender so that everything is in order just to make sure scrolling down to examine the form of tender and if we are happy with the form of tender click close and then straight away go to the project dashboard and click on the project dashboard button over here so now we can take a look at our progress that we just completed we've done so far we've completed the tender documents upload and also the form of tender edit so now let's move on to dbq preparation we can do so by clicking up here on the build space logo and then it will be it will redirect us to build space pro this pro feature not only available to the developer who already have build space e project but also for any qs consultants that wanted to conduct the bq building on board the system so they can opt to have a build space pro for themselves so now take for example i already uploaded a bq right over here so now we wanted to take a look to examine the bq so we double click on the bill take for example in here we go and take a look at frame so here we can see the items are laid out nicely and also the default quantity the quantity and also the rates this is especially useful for pretender estimation so now take for example we wanted to have the item type to be changed so you simply click on the item and push enter and then click again we will have a drop down list like this take for example we wanted to change this to head we can do so similar to the reinforced concrete frame over here if we wanted to remain it as normal item we can do so by clicking the item if you wanted to convert it to item provisional using the item p item prime cost using the item pc now let's take a look at the item prime cost so we click on enter and then we will have a breakdown of the price like so so here we can just input the supply rates and then the rest for wastage labor for installation other and also the profit can be filled by the consult by the contractor okay so now you can go to see the item rates only item for rates only item nl item for non-listed item ls item for lump sum ls percentage lump sum based on percentage item lsx lump sum based on rates and also no id for items that we don't want to have units quantities and also the rates i.e the notes take for example so we go back to the item type over here and then we can observe everything so that we will be set so we satisfied with this bq so we can go back to the element and click on the print bq and click on print all to view the bq before it will be sent out to the consult con, to the contractor sorry so this is the bq prepared using the system print out nicely like so we have the units quantity rates and also the amount bear in mind we can print out the version without the rate without the amount and also the rates if we so choose to do so okay once we satisfied with this bq straight away click publish to tender and then click again for publish 
the reason why there are so many confirmation notification over here is because once we push the BQ into tendering stage, we cannot anymore amend the BQ unless we prepare an addendum later down the line. So click yes. So there we have it. The system is already pushed to tender. So we click, go back to e-project and click refresh over here. And we will have every single stages is ticked in green. So what's now left is for us to call for tender right? over here, like we can see over here. So how we can do so is we go to the tendering and click on the list of tender and then click on the tender button right over here. And then what we can do now is to carefully examine the date of calling tender, the date of tender closing, whether or not we want to allow contractor to propose on completion period, if we wanted to disable tender rate submission, and also if we wanted to make a technical evaluation, then we have to make sure the contract limit is set to the right amount. And then we take a look at the list of selected contractor for to undertake the tendering process for this contract for this project. So once we are happy with everything over here, we can straight away click on submit button right here. Wait for a few seconds and then click yes. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The tender is like, is by now up and running and available for the tender to rates to put in key in their rates inside the tender documents. So ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of our brief session for the introduction to Build Space version 3. We just looked at the preparation to receive the updates. Then we have a peek at our new features, which is dashboard, sorry. And finally, a brief walkthrough on how to use the system. We at Build Space sincerely hope with the outcome of this presentation is achieved by all the attendees today. We really wish the attendees today will brief their management on the new updates. And if you have further inquiries on the new updates, please feel free to send out an email at support at pck.com.my and we will be able to assist you with your inquiries. Thank you so much for lending me your ears and spending your time attending this briefing. We wish you all the very best of luck with your endeavor and looking forward for a much merrier future together. Happy weekends and please stay healthy. Thank you.
thank you so much for attending, spending your time with us today, ladies and gentlemen. So if you have further inquiries, please do not hesitate to email us at support at pck.com.my. So again, have a good day and please be healthy and stay safe. Thank you very much.